Uh, I think both the United States and Japan uh, are caught in a lot of similar economic circumstances. Both of us had severe financial crises that an, an, uh, initiated a lot of the problems. In the case of Japan, it was a grossly overvalued equity market and a real estate boom. Well, sounds a lot like the United States where real estate prices got too high. Probably less problem in the U.S. with the stock market. Uh, that caused a financial crisis in both countries. Uh, there's been a, a big decline in economic activity. Uh, and uh, I think both the countries are similar and they were both sort of stuck in a stagnating economy with little hope that it's going to recover any time in the near future. In the case of Japan, this has now gone on for 20 years. They've never been able to return back up to the growth rate that they were achieving before the crisis. Um, I think other similarities are uh, both countries uh, have tried monetary policy, driving interest rates to zero, uh, and in both cases they failed to get the economy back to a high growth path. In the case of Japan, interest rates have been at ridiculously low levels now for about 15 years. Uh, we've now done it for about four. Um, both countries have tried to use fiscal stimulus uh, as another alternative to try to get the economy growing again. And I would think on balance uh, they haven't worked uh, for much the same reason. You can get fiscal stimulus, it stimulates the economy, growth picks up for a period of time, but you can't sustain the fiscal deficits. And so in the case of Japan, after an episode of strong fiscal stimulus, they would grow faster, but then they're forced to cut back on the size of the budget deficit. And when they do, growth would slow back down again. And they go through these cycles of uh, tightening of fiscal policy, easing of fiscal policy. Uh, the United States hasn't had quite as long experience with it, but it certainly looks the same. I think increasingly the argument is becoming that we treated this as a typical business cycle here in the United States, and I think originally Japan saw its problems as the same. And so you think of a business cycle as a quick down and then right back up again. And in the V of that decline, we had a lot of fiscal stimulus, thinking that we just needed to transition through the bad times and we would revert to the growth. That has not happened here in the United States. The problems we face seem to be much longer term. And similarly in Japan, they didn't. And so I think in both countries, if we're going to recover from this, we're going to have to restructure our economies. It's not simply a problem of stimulus or, people put it, job creation. We have to change the fundamental structure of our economy. In the case of Japan, the stagnation, I think, has been caused by an excessive reliance on a few very uh, efficient and well-run export industries. Automobiles, the most famous example. But what people didn't know was that Japan was sort of like a dual economy, that in the more domestic side of it, services and such, terribly inefficient, always low levels of productivity mainly caused by excessive regulation. So people talk about the need for Japan to restructure its economy to shift more towards increasing the efficiency in these domestically based economy industries. In the case of the United States, the problem's a little bit different, but we look back at what we were doing and we now realize we were devoting way too much in the way of resources to consumption. We were an unsustainable consumption binge here in the United States as we spent our wealth trying to sustain the economy. And similarly here in the United States, uh, we had way too much reliance on this uh, housing boom, building a lot of houses against what was actually a backdrop of a slowing rate of growth of the population. So that too, it's gone, it's not going to return, and I don't think we can afford as a country to go back to one of these consumption-led booms again. So for the U.S., we also have to restructure economy. Uh, we have a very efficient, on the other hand, domestic sector. We do not have the same regulatory problems as in Japan. But in the case of the United States, we're very inefficient in the area of exports. We have relied far too long on these large trade deficits as we sucked resources in from the rest of the world. 
And we have to start over now, and we have to learn to export. We have to learn to balance our exports and our imports to be of comparable magnitude. So we're basically looking for some way to become far more successful in the global economy than we've been in the past. That's turned out to be very difficult to do here in the United States, just as the regulatory changes and other means have been very difficult to accomplish in Japan. So both countries are similar, and it's hard to gain momentum to undertake the structural changes that we have to make. Europe right now faces a, a, a much more of an immediate crisis because of the fiscal situation that it caught itself in. Uh, as a group of countries, they gave up independent monetary policies. They're not able to change their exchange rates. And so they have very limited tools that they can use to recover from the situation that they find themselves in. The U.S. is not in that situation. We have flexible exchange rates. We have a monetary policy that can ensure that there's no threat of government going bankrupt, as is the, seems to be the pressure in Europe. So the U.S., I would much rather have the U.S. problems than the European problems. I think they're more solvable. But Europe is also a country, or a group of countries, that for a, in the past sort of adjusted to low growth. I think uh, they found that was okay. They accommodated it. Um, so Europeans tolerated a more equal society, but a society with a lower rate of growth. I think they thought that was a reasonable trade-off. Right now, they face the problem that they can't sustain what they were doing before. The U.S. has always been much more a country based on the a known a high level of inequities, which we tried to deal with by growing fast. Um, so we didn't do anything about trying to level the playing field here in the United States. Instead, we emphasized growth. And so to see growth disappear from the U.S. is a traumatic experience because uh, Americans, to make the system work, they have to have a job. Jobs are far more fundamental to living here in the United States than they are in Europe. We do not have the social safety net that Europeans have. 